I've got pickle brine fried chicken sandwiches with pickle slaw. And I'm using thighs for a very special reason, because they've got a lot more flavor. What I want to do is get little slashes in there, little nips. And what's going to happen is the pickle brine is going to get into that and really flavor the chicken even more. Right, like that. Then, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I always have a bunch of pickle brine because I love pickles. This happens to be dill pickles, but you could also use the spicy pickles if you like, but Drea doesn't like too much spice, so we're gonna go with the dill today. And I'm gonna take this pickle brine, I'm gonna use these pickles in the pickle slaw that I'm also gonna put on, but what I wanna do is get most of this brine covering the chicken thighs, about a quarter cup, and get the brine all over the chicken. That should be quite enough for the slaw. Now notice I'm not putting any salt, any pepper or anything because in pickle juice, there's salt, there's vinegar, there's a little bit of sugar, so it's gonna add a lot of flavor. So let's cover this up, get it in the fridge for about two hours, and before I dredge them and fry them up, I'm gonna take them out of the fridge and let them come to room temperature. So I've got my chicken thighs already coming to room temperature, I've patted them dry, they're ready to go. Now we have to make the batter that the chicken thighs go into. We're gonna start with the tempura mix. I'm gonna get three quarters of a cup in here. I love tempura. It's just the batter is so light and fluffy. It's already got leaveners in it. And I'm also gonna mix this with a little bit of tapioca flour. And I love tapioca flour. And it is a great thickener, but it's also gonna make this a nice light and fluffy batter. I really want this to be a nice, airy, light batter, and that's where club soda comes in. So we'll get a cup and a quarter of club soda and all that bubbly, bubble-liciousness is what's gonna make a really nice aerated batter. I wanna get a little salt and pepper also for a little flavor. Some salt and a little bit of pepper. And remember, our chicken thighs have been marinating for the last few hours in pickle brine, so they're gonna be nice and salty. So you don't need to add too much. So we've got our nice chicken thighs here. They've been dried, and they've been sitting in that gorgeous pickle brine, getting all kinds of flavor. So you're just gonna lay them all in. All right. All right, let's get to frying. You want your oil to be at 350 degrees, and that's gonna be just enough of the batter to give it a nice crispy coat. I just wanna give it a little scoot in there. I wanna make sure that the chicken doesn't stick to the bottom. All right, I think I can get these other two in there. And you wanna take its temp when you bring it out and you want it to get to 165 degrees. So you wanna leave these in anywhere between eight and 10 minutes. You wanna get a beautiful, crisp, golden brown on them. And the thing I like about chicken thighs is that you can overcook them a little bit and you really won't be able to tell. So let's pull the chicken out. It's been about eight, 10 minutes. Make sure they're done. They are a beautiful color. Time for the pickle slaw. Just need half of this cabbage. There we go. Save the other half for something else. I want it to be like shredded. So we're gonna get these as thin as possible. Okay, so we have all of this thinly sliced cabbage. Now I wanna get some of that dill juice. Not only am I gonna put the dill juice in there, but I'm also gonna slice up and dice up pickles. And then the brine, it's gonna help soften it up. Grab some veggie oil. This is gonna help break it down too. It's just a tablespoon, and that's a nice neutral oil, so you can really taste the flavor of the dill and, and the pickles. So let's get the pickles chopped up. Just gonna slice them right down the middle and then give them a quick chop. Okay, I've got these pickles chopped up. I'm gonna get those into the bowl. So that's gonna add some flavor right there. And then that onion that we didn't use earlier for the onion rings, I'm just gonna chop the rest of that and add that to the coleslaw. Okay, our onion is all chopped up. That's gonna go in. Get a little bit of salt in there. And last but not least, some whole grain mustard. This whole grain mustard, what I love about it, they add this really beautiful texture to this and they kind of just pop in your mouth. So we got two tablespoons of that and then some 
dill. Adding some fresh dill is always a nice accent. Just so beautiful. That's that freshness that really does make a difference. What I'm doing is grabbing all of that liquid that's on the bottom and trying to bring it to the top. It'll really start to tenderize this coleslaw, really starting to soften up. Sometimes the simplest ingredients make the best sandwich. This is a brioche bun, a little mayo, a little chicken, a little slaw, top it with a bun, the perfect Sammy. Let this marinate on the back counter and then start putting everything together. Now let's just get some mayo on the top and the bottom. It's best to put the sandwiches together right before we eat so the chicken stays crispy. And there's gonna be so much flavor between the slaw and the chicken. Just need a little moisture from the mayo. One each of these beautiful pieces of chicken. We're gonna lay that on the bottom. Get these guys on a platter. What goes on top of this is the slaw we made earlier. Slaw goes right on each sandwich. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice messy sandwich. And then you just top them off. Those look so yummy. That looks so delicious. Don't they look beautiful? Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> Take a while, the sandwich is hot. It is good. Wow, Mom, this sandwich is great. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It's delicious. Do you like the slaw on the sandwich? So good. So I brined the chicken in the pickle juice, and then with the rest of the pickle juice, I made the slaw, cut up some pickles. It's really good. It's not like it tastes like pickles. It just kind of gives it a really nice flavor. 